in Reformation, you need to come to one point. Nom ka nom atul orus. You sleep like the bride sleeps. You know, in uh, everywhere, uh, wherever there is. I don't know. I can't say about the uh, this uh, uh, advanced world. They have brides as well, but there have been many times bride before it be become bride. But true Islamic, even in Hinduism, we go back in India. India, Pakistan, Bangladesh is a new name that they're on. You go, go back there and listen, look at their old stories as well. They have similar kind of modesty and a shame. They, were, they wasn't legalizing, having a, 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 taken a pleasure before the marriage. And they're doing this, it was a sin. You understand that? Same old Christianity as well. But no, they are too advanced and then totally new. You understand that? So because this is a one of a, a great wish of person, whether it's a male or a female. So, uh, especially the people who they are bound with the Sharia and they have to go only through the halal. So maybe the best wish of their lifetime. You understand that? So that's what happened. They said that when the uh, 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 two reasons they give. One thing, the best wish come true. Number two, that two beloved, they love each other. And this is their dream becoming true now. And that's why once it's become true, they are happy. And they relax themselves and sleep. One. Number two, they said that because in the marriage ceremonies, uh, here, I don't know how it is, but I do know a little bit, it's all different. Back home, in old days, they used to uh, first have their arranged marriage. After arranging, they arrange a date as well, specifically on the special day, uh, which is uh, good for everybody or suitable for every one of them. This day we're going to do the nikah and everything. So within those days, there are others, uh, some activities, well, some they are Hinduism. But some activity doesn't mean by, by Hindu religion, it's just a, a local custom. There's nothing against Islam and uh, doesn't really give you reward as well. But it's just a happy occasion, these are mobile things you can do. So they do those activities as well in between. So what they do all that, they really get tired by doing all this, going through all that process or in the old days, you know, like, for example, this is one thing uh, I have access, experienced as well back home. Uh, knows everything is easy because you see the buses, cars and everything. There is, you, you can, we think you can do it in the days, no, you can do it in hours. You understand that? But in the old days they used to do, maybe if the groom is in one village and the bride is another, and that if you walk from here to the, the uh, bride's place, it will take you a whole day. And you can't just wake up in the morning and start walking. In the morning they prepare themselves and then they walk all the way through. Well, maybe if you have horses, some people, most people are walking, some on horse, some on donkey, some on donkey, something like that. So they take time. So what they used to do, they used to stay there at night. You understand that? And the next day morning, what they do, they after the morning, they have the breakfast and then they leave. You understand that? And still there are some custom, poor people are still doing the same thing as well. You understand that? So because of all this process, they're going through, it's quite a hardship. And after going through all the hardship as well, then especially bride in our uh, back home, we have dolly, we call little uh, uh, carriage that we carry them. And that is not very comfortable either. Well, no is comfortable if we have the new. But if you look back at old days, it's not that comfortable. You understand that? It uh, 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 moves about as well and not very uh, much balance. So you have to keep your balance, you can be very tense as well. Physical, spiritual, or your, you can call that uh, traditional. All sort of circumstances are giving them a hardship and after even it's over, they sleep nice and quiet and relaxed. You understand that? That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used it because whatever uh, our deen is, Islam is deen al-fitr. Yes, deen of nature. So it's according to our nature, deen, uh, use similar kind of word. All this wording means use the Quran and this. Allah ki, uh, our belief is, ki ye Quran hum padhe al-faz, ye Allah ke al-faz is tarah ke nahi Actual Quran of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ununderstandable. Only Nabi can understand. Nobody else can. These are the wording given to us, the uh, specifically very first nation of the language of a Nabi. And Nabi always come to the nation with their language. So because the Rasulullah hasn't come from, to the Arabs, and he was supposed to teach the uh, Arab people, and they were master of the language at that time, that was a man, uh, uh, in their case, was a big pride as well. They, that's what they call, you know, Ajami? What does that mean? None Arab mean they're Bunge. They are just talking from the nose, they don't have any, any language. Dumb people. You understand that? So, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa giving them the language, that uh, a Quran in their language they speak, that's why Quran challenged them as well, bring the ten surah like this, when one, one surah like this, bring three, three small verses like this, all these challenges are in the Quran, you understand that? So, these are the wording are used for us, how we use in our custom. That's why if you, 
uh, like to masterize the Quran or become alim din you have to learn the language. In the language, you have to learn all the old poetry of the old poets. And uh, one thing I don't like to mention, but I have to in this sort of point. If you look into that poetry, it's a quiet newt. You don't have to study that. Because that's a language. And the Quran is being spoken their language. And they, as, as, as we understood in their, their way, if it's not been understood, you can't make, make, make a justification in the teaching of the Quran. That's very important. You understand that? So this is the word that's been used in the hadith of Rasulullah that Allah calls as a caller, caller of nowhere, said that no no other Urus sleep like the bride sleeps. What it means that, oh my devotee, you have suffered in dunya, you have taken the birth, and then at the birth was a big pain for your mother and yourself as well, you suffered. Then you was a, a baby, and you've been falling and creeping, and then you slowly start walking, falling, tumbling, this and that, and then you slowly grown up, you're a strong man. And then were some strong pride people, but because this is the moment, he's not going to be proud. He's going to be humble. So then you say, her, then when somebody is humble and uh, uh, soft-hearted, you always get tortured by the others as well. You always get the beat from the others too. So all that suffering you had in dunya, up to your death, and death is one of the severe pain that anybody can have. You've been through that as well. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, al -maut, people who they have this kind of painful death, he will, that person who is in the grave, he will continue suffering the pain of death until the day of judgment. That's how severe pain that is. It's the Sakra Mote Vishapna Mangi Jaya, like Tana Mangi Allah, give us easy death. Yes, like there are uh, 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 in Arabic as well, Ya Allah, make, make it easy for us. So the one has been easy, one way or the other, is gone, the person has gone through all that stress, all those problems. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We say of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Nunka Nomatul Urus. He said, Ab you, ab, matlab, ab, Bring the two things together, Eko Wanda relax. Number two, two wishes come true. Two bodies that who they love, who lo love each other and they were separate from each other. Today their wishes are coming true and they get, they get you together. Ye to dhula aur dhulan se yeh jo sachi mohabbat karne aur ya achhe insaan hai, unse puchhe ki usko khushi ka kaun sa waqt hai, they can't forget the whole. That's why they memorize that time uh, every year. You know like marriage, some they have, they have uh, uh, every year, what they call it? Amnir kabhi sir, marai liya shte mehni pata na? Anniversary. Anniversary. Hmm. So they have a verse, you know, they have to remember that good time. You understand that? So this is what it is. Okay, know that devotee who never seen is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whole his lifetime. He believed and loved him without seeing him. You understand that? He never seen Rasul, like us, Sahaba, they seen Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa but we never. He never seen Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But Alhamdulillah, we love him more than our heart and more than our life. Yes? So know there's a number of happiness are there. One happiness that they wish to see Rasulullah in dunya, they never able to. Now they see him in the grave, that's one of the best wish come true. Mm -hmm. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is devotee, banda mil gaya, Allah, Allah is samane ho gaya ji. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three, he has got this blissful uh, command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are successful. And now for the believers, how the doors open? First the hellfire's door open. Mm -hmm. Opposite to the others. Yes. And they have been called that this was your place <coughs> to live. If you wouldn't be a true believer. And a good Muslim and beloved of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I love Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because you did very well, you have succeed, you are successful, door is closed of the hellfire. Paradise doors will be open. And that door will remain, continue until the day of judgment. That no, you this is this, this is your place. No, you just looking at the good place. A better place of there to see, you yes, sir? But unfortunately, because we are old for money, that's why we don't like to live in the jungle as well for money. We can do anything for that. Anyhow, so looking at paradise, there are no mind can even imagine what kind of paradise is. That you can start visualizing from there, and the blissful fresh airs are coming from there. What else do you need? Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you one thing. It's not my point here, but, I tell, but bear in mind, hell is so bad that if you just hear the sound of the hell, that there's no worse torture, no worse punishment in dunya, if you compare with dunya. And that, that only the hearing the sound is more severe than any punishment of dunya. Looking at it, no hearing the sound, just looking at the 
It's a scenario of the hellfire.